Well, LeBron James is averaging 27 points per game over his last eight games, and he's doing it with that very interesting looking plastic face guard that he is wearing. And not always comfortable, but necessary, and this is why back on December 29th versus Houston, James gets hit in the cheekbone by Dikembe Mutombo's elbow. He has those famous razor sharp elbows. Now, he left that game, but he did not miss any other games after that. So there you see the mask. It is made of, of a very hard plastic. And Jim, you ever wore one of those? They don't look real comfortable. Yeah. You know, fortunately, I've never had a broken nose. In fact, I've never had a nose bleed in my life. Now, Jerry West had seven broken noses, but somehow, but Matumbo, by the way, has uh, laid a few people out. I'll amplify that a little bit for Glenn because Matumbo's done that a lot throughout his career. I mean, Cleveland's good. They're not that good. That'll leave you a good these, look. These are the shots you have to make. See? The, the wide open looks. Four of 13 on threes. It'll be Cleveland ball. Crowd not agreeing with Steve Jeremy. That will take us to a stoppage. 4.56 remaining in the third. In the timeout, LeBron James got a technical foul. Paul Silas was there. Well, first, Jason Richardson was talking to him. And everything seemed to be under control, as Paul Silas said. I'll tell you why he got the tee. He threw his face mask. He threw his, he threw his protective mask. That's all it was. And it was caught by Steve Javi. I mean, caught, saw it by seen by Steve Javi. Our Toyota trivia question in the last three rookie duos to average 20 points each in their initial season and give one of them away was LeBron and Carmelo Anthony a year ago. Okay, I'm glad you explained that to me. But there are two more rookie duos that each average over 20 their rookie year. So Jordan is rookie year averaged over 20. Did anyone else in that 83 draft Average 20. I thought that was 80, 84. 84. Yeah, Ewing was 83. Did Elijah on average 20 his rookie year? I don't think he did. I don't think he did either. On four minutes to play in this opening quarter. Game four of the best of seven Eastern Conference. Opening round series. Cavaliers lead it two games to one. Good hands by the Wizards. And James on the move draws the foul. Crowd wants a traveling violation. The crowd wanted a traveling violation of a game winner the other night. Yeah. Boy, did LeBron James crack uh, Antoine Jameson with a screen here. Watch this. Jameson unaware. Oh, that's about 240 pounds of brawn just lined up. You said it, Marv. He could be a, a middle linebacker, a wide receiver, a tight end, whatever he wants. I think he chose the right sport, though. And was, as you can imagine, an outstanding Football player in it. Ron backs his way. Now met by Jeffries on a switch. Puts the uh, dribble between the legs. Jeffries got a piece of it. Oh, and that's an offensive foul. Another offensive foul on LeBron James. That's number four. That's his fourth personal. That's his fourth offensive foul. Great job by Jeffries. Playing James top, forcing the missed dribble, and then LeBron tries to swing through, catches Jeffries with the elbow. He doesn't like it, but I don't know how you can't call that. A huge play by James Posey. Oh, look out! As LeBron James coming across and inadvertently clobbered Wayne Wade, who is obviously shaken up. Well, we saw Kobe Bryant get suspended for a game for inadvertently elbowing Manu Ginobili. Now, this is going to be a big question by the commissioner, David Stern, on a very similar play from another one of its superstars, Steve. And in the short term, is it a flagrant foul? That's what the question is, and I believe it is. You see LeBron trying to wrap him up. He's not trying to hurt him there, but he ends up in the wrong spot and tries to grab him and instead clubs him across the chin and we have to say that these two guys are really really good friends so it wasn't nothing malicious and it wasn't nothing intently done by lebron just got caught in the wrong position at the wrong time it is a flagrant so wade to the free throw line and miami will have possession 
Wayne Wade continuing his superb shooting at the line, 19 for 19. He has two free throws, and Miami gets the ball. They now lead it 88 to 86 with 20 seconds to go in the fourth. And this is why when you see Cleveland play, you wonder if they're really a championship contender. They don't make free throws. They don't close games out well. They don't execute offensively. Now they're, they're a good team, but they've got a lot of growing to do. Well, the Cavaliers led most of the way. Led now going and, to the line. And the call was on Rodgers. LeBron James will turn the corner. Eric Williams to raise up. Ring it up for Eric Williams, who has rediscovered his offensive game tonight. Eric Williams, 4-7 from the floor. He's got eight. Kerry Kittles will deposit the long-range three. Michael, you cannot sit back and, and, and complain and, and not get back against the team. you got to get back in transition. They score quickly. That they do, the New Jersey Nets, the top team in the Atlantic Division. 13 games over 500 and playing without uh, their two mainstays, Jason Kidd and Kenyon Martin. Jersey by 10. As New Jersey built the lead to 10, and on this Eric Williams knocked down the jumper. Watch top of your screen. LeBron James get a shot from Jason Collins on the blockout. This is called making body contact. LeBron happened to be in the wrong place at the wrong time with the big fella. Kudos to all of our outstanding uh, production professionals in the tape room for getting us that look at uh, LeBron James there. And, of course, uh, our uh, diligent camera operators as well inside Gund Arena. So the New Jersey lead is 10. LeBron James weaving his way through traffic. surprised because as the screen was set the defender on the screener never stepped out so LeBron thought that he had a clear lane going to the rim and they're calling it in the act of shooting oh my I don't know about that uh, we had an excellent look at that he definitely was not making it he did not elevate I don't think now just watch see right here you're going to see the collision right there well the Cavs are going to call timeout to help out James Last lead for the Pistons came with nine minutes left in the second quarter, 25-24, and Wallace tries to keep it alive to McDice, who can't save it. And LeBron James is down. James is on the floor. What a bizarre fourth quarter and second half we have had here with that easy foul trouble. The second. The technical fouls, LeBron going down, but he seems to be all right. Meanwhile, Ben Wallace 0 for 7 from the line. And that easily could have been a foul on Ben Wallace over the top. You see right here, missed by a ton. And yeah, that easily could have been a foul on Ben Wallace. Time out, we'll be right back. Blocked by Matee. Bogans gets it back. Blocked by LeBron James. Holly to James. Spins. Loses the handle. <laughs> and LeBron comes up holding his face. <laughs> Happy holidays, Paul. There's not a foul here. 